This is this is the Bollywood royalty. They could have chosen the biggest Umed Bhavan palaces. They could have chosen venues which have been probably the most ostentatious venues in the country or across the world. Like we saw with Ranveer and Deepika when they went to Italy, or even Anushka and Virat they went to Italy to get married. But they've chosen to do this in home in Mumbai, which has been you know like the pinnacle of like the pillar which sort of got the Kapoor Khandan all the accolades and all the love was you know for years and years together. So I think the fact that they've chosen their own home. To do this is incredible. Also, very rarely do you feel nostalgia and present together. So when you're watching this, the fact that you know even Neeta Kapoor's uh, you know their dates and this date is very similar. The fact that you're you're reminiscing about Rishi Kapoor. There is so much. You're not just watching this wedding on screen like it's a film. We all feel like we're somehow participating in it. There are also multiple hearts breaking today because people are like, "Yar, Alia bhi aaj se gaya, Ranbir bhi aaj se gaya." But I think that's part of it. The fact that we all feel like this is a great, nice way to sort of get into the. Uh, you know, uh, like a happier mode post COVID. Whenever you fall in love with someone, you want to stalk an ex. What do you do? You go and see not that person, but you see everyone who's close to them and their social media handles. Right. That's pretty much what we've been doing. We've been instead of you know trying to get stuff from Ranbir and Arya, we've been trying to see what Sony Aunty is doing. We're trying to see what like Neetu Singh is doing. We're seeing Radhima, who's very very active on social media. So we've been sort of getting glimpses from people here and there. I love how Karishma Kapoor put up this picture of just her foot and her mehndi, and you know I love mehndi. And Abhijani Sandhi, Sandhi post I have put up this wedding, uh, the wedding outfit that you know Radhima was wearing. So I think. I think it's been incredible because we're seeing everyone sort of converge together in this very interesting um, sort of event. And what's beautiful is the fact that they've also been very media savvy. They've not tried to keep the media out, even a small gesture like you know keeping that dabba out for the media and all is a very sort of welcome sign about the fact that hey man, we want everyone to be a part of this wedding. And I think everyone's loved this fairy tale wedding because it's coming at a time where I think we've been so grumpy. You know, COVID has been such a dampener. It's huge. I mean, a wedding like this is also creating so much employment, right? So a lot of people. Say hey man, in a time like this, why are they spending so much money? And then people say hey, actually a wedding like this is going to provide employment to so many small scale industry, food wala, mithai wala. It's incredible to see this sort of coming to life. And you know, all of the clothes, Manish Malhotra, Sabir Sachi, when you just see them on screen, this pretty much you almost feel like there's going to be an item number which is start playing everywhere because all of the <laughs> biggest stars of Bollywood are right there, right? Yeah, it's that happening. Was, so, that was expected out of the wedding. Come on, they, yeah, they, yeah. they, they, they are Bollywood fraternity. You know, Kapoor's have been in Bollywood since since time immemorial, and the Bhats have also built their place over there. So, so obviously, this is two families that are coming together. And you talk about, of course, the beautiful clothes. Uh, uh, the diva factor coming in there, the celebrity factor right in there. But Manvi Taneja, I'll come to you. Like an intimate wedding. So you know that video is very interesting because when it first starts out, and you know when the photographers and the paparazzi are asking them about Talia, her first tone almost sounds like she's going to be like, "Guys, don't irritate me." And then she says, "Like, what do I say? She's very cute, hai. you know." So when it's because you know in in the last couple of videos which went viral of Neetu Singh, I think she was climbing up a vanity van. I think she was doing a show at that time. She's like, "I don't know." But the funny thing is the way that they are, they've never been dismissive of the media. They've been very cute. They've been very candid, which is a very sort of Raliya sort of a vibe in any case, right? Where they're like, "Hey man, you're, you're our buddy," but we tell you when it sort of happens. And that particular video is is endearing because the way sort of Neeta uh, Kapoor and you know Ritima talk about Aliya, they're like, "Oh my God, she's like the spooky cool baby," and that's I think exactly how the nation feels about Aliya. So it's very very cute. The other thing which is spectacular, and that's really is you know why it feels like such an intimate gathering, like you rightly said, is because it's happening at their home. 